Okay, so this tutorial introduces two more concepts related to Visual Basic .NET programming. The first concept is instantiation, and the second concept is data type conversions. In an earlier exercise, we created this really simple program where at the click of a button, we used input boxes to gather two numbers. The processing was that those two numbers were added together and then the result, or sum, was displayed in the text box. If we go over here and look at our code, we can see what we'd written earlier. Now at the moment it all works, and in part it all works because our logic is correct in terms of declarations, input, processing and output, but also because of a setting behind the scenes in Visual Studio that makes things easier for us. The problem with that though is that we've got a couple of little holes in our program, program's code. In other words, we could make it a little bit better. Now the first thing we can do is give a starting value to our three variables at the top here. This is known as instantiating our variables. And you always instantiate your variables in the same line in which you declare them. So what we're going to do is type equals zero oops, after integer in each of these three variables. What that means is that every single time the button called calculate is clicked, the values of num1, num2 and sum will always be zero right at the very beginning. Now the second thing we can do is take the data that we've entered via input box, which by default is a string value because there's actually a text box sitting on the input box. Uh, control. We're going to take that text box data, which is string, and convert it into a numeric da piece of data or an integer which ties in with the data type of our variables. So to do that, we type cint before the word input box and then close the parentheses at the other end. Do the same for the num2 variable, cint, open parentheses, and then end of that same line, close the parentheses. So whatever we type in the input box gets converted into, into an integer, convert to integer, C int, so that it can be stored safely inside the num1 integer variable. Now when we come down here to output, the value in sum will actually be an integer value. So what we're going to do is convert that back into a string value so that we can display it in our text box. And like cint, we're just to the left of the word sum, type c str this time, convert to string, open parentheses, and then close the parentheses. So this tutorial looked at two key concepts. Instantiation of variables at the top here, where we give a starting value to each variable uh, when we first declare it. And then we're always mindful of the fact that data could pass from controls and variables and so forth that by default have different data types. From a text box we're going to, or input box control, we're going to convert that string value into an integer and then when we want to get the integer value back into a text box control, good programming practice is that we convert it back to a string data type.